Good morning friends, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I want to discuss the importance of computer organization and architecture subject for GATE and for the CSE students. Okay, now let me discuss how many marks you can expect in the GATE. On an average, you can expect 10 to 12 marks. Okay, is it clear? In the last year, GATE 2020, they have asked almost 11% means it's roughly 12 marks they have asked in the year 2020. So you can understand out of 100 marks, they have given a weightage of 10 marks, then you can understand the importance of this subject. And lot of people will feel fear that this subject is very difficult to understand. It is very confusing subject. Don't worry, I will make you teach very well such a way that what are the doubts you have, all the doubts will be cleared and you will get a confidence to write the or attempt the questions in the gate exam related to the computer organization and architecture subject. But the questions will be lengthy, don't worry, especially in the gate I will tell you one trick. If the question is lengthy, the answer will be simple. If the question is very small, then it may be tricky, okay. So don't worry about the length of the question. And coming to what are the topics I will discuss, okay. I will discuss about the number system like the binary to decimal conversion, decimal to binary conversion, octal to hexadecimal conversion, all these things we will discuss in the number system. Then we will discuss about the floating point number representation, both algorithm, everything we will discuss. Then I will discuss about the memory hierarchy. What is the, how the memory is organized, okay? And what is the cache memory? What are the mapping techniques are there in the cache memory? Like direct mapping, associative mapping, set associative mapping. Then we will discuss about the cache replacement techniques like first in first out, least recently used, least frequently used algorithms. Then we will discuss about the mission instructions and addressing modes. Okay, in addressing modes we have direct addressing, Okay, indirect addressing is there, register direct addressing mode is there, register indirect addressing mode is there, all these things we will discuss and then we will discuss the important concepts. See, among these, these two are very important topics, memory hierarchy and the pipeline. Okay, we will discuss about the various pipelines and then we will discuss about the I.O. interface and control unit. In I.O. interface, we will discuss about the direct memory access concept. Then you can ex ask me, sir, how, how it is different with the other playlists related to the computer organization and architecture. How I will teach is that, let's say that I have taken the number system concept, in that I have discussed the, all the conversions, like binary to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to octal like this. Then I will discuss the gate previous questions asked related to those concepts, like related to the number system. Then what is the use? First you will understand the importance of the number system and the conversion process with some examples. Then if I discuss the gate previous questions, then you will understand the complexity. If any question is complex, then you will understand what kind of questions they will ask and how much complexity and where I have to study more. Is it clear? Then similarly coming to the memory hierarchy, I will discuss about what is the cache memory, what is a mapping technique, what is a direct mapping. Then I will discuss the few numerical questions related to the dynamic direct mapping. Okay. Then we will discuss about the set associative mapping, associative mapping, numerical examples, everything. Then we will discuss the gate previous questions asked related to the memory hierarchy. Similarly, everything. So I will discuss a topic. I will discuss few numerical examples for better understanding. Then I will discuss about the gate previous questions so that you will understand the importance of the gate related to the each topic. And also you will get a confidence if you can solve the gate questions by yourself. See, first if I explain the concept and if I discuss the numerical examples, I hope you can solve the gate questions by yourself. If you can solve the gate questions by yourself without watching my video completely, then I will be the first person who will be very happy. And even if you can solve by yourself, you will get lot of confidence. Because in gate exam, the confidence on yourself is very, very important. How you will get confidence? If you study well and practice more questions, okay? Then lot of people will ask, sir, if we have a doubts, how can we ask? After watching a video, if you have any doubts, you can ask it in the comment session, okay? If your doubts is very lengthy and you cannot write it in the comment session, you can send an email to this Gmail, 
okay which is pernica tutorials at the rate gmail.com everything is in small letters just for visuality i have written it in the capital letters and some people have very uh, like uh, maybe dislike my videos you can please press the dislike button and unsubscribe to my channel and if you really unhappy with my videos please share the videos with your enemies how can you take the revenge on your enemies is just share my videos with your enemies then maybe if you does not like maybe they will also does not like if you really like my videos please press the like button share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel so then you can understand what is the motive is if you really like the video share with your friends if you does not like it share with your enemies and some people will write the wrong comments everything scolding about me and the personal things everything you don't write those things if you are happy you can write there or if you want to scold me you write a email okay is it clear okay so i hope you have understood the importance of the computer organization subject for the gate exam not only for the gate exam it is very very important subject even for the placement also because if a technical person ask the addressing modes if you tell them very properly with the proper examples then he will be very happy so it is not only for gate exam it is very very important subject for the csc students if you still have any doubts related oh yeah i forgot to tell you one thing what are the textbooks you need to refer you can refer the william stallings you can refer the morris meno is it clear anything or if you don't want to refer that any textbook if you are very happy with my videos you can continue watching if you have any doubts feel free to ask me i will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day